Now, by default, the sort method doesn't work exactly like we'd expect it to. If I uncomment out this code here, you can see I have an array of numbers here that are um, all jumbled up. And if I just run the sort method on this, array 13, that sort, and then I output this to the screen, then you can see that this sorted array isn't exactly what we were expecting. And uh, instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 20, 30, 40, we're getting 1, 10, 2, 20, 3, 30. Um, the reason it does this is because by default, the sort method uses uh, the Unicode values to sort by. And this is how these values are sorted in Unicode. If we want to sort these values in any other way, then we need to manually tell JavaScript how they should be sorted. And the way that we do that is with a compare function. Um, so what a compare function is, let me go ahead and uh, write one of these out and that would be the best way to explain it. So function, and I'm just going to call this sort nums, and a compare function takes in two values. I'm just going to have this take in A and B, two parameters. Um, so you can see I have commented down here, if we return a value that is greater than zero, then we're telling JavaScript to that the way this array should be sorted is that the B should come before the A. Uh, if it returns a zero, we're saying that these values are equal and that it doesn't matter about the sort order, so it'll be unchanged. If we return a value that is less than zero, then we're saying that A should come before B. Um, so say that we are passing in numbers to this sort, to this compare function. Um, so let's just uh, pick two random numbers here. Let's say A is 10 and let's say B is 20. And so we want this function, if it runs into these two parameters, to return a number that is less than zero because we want A to come before B because 10 is less than 20. Uh, so how could we do that? Well, if we did 10 minus 20, that equals negative 10. That is a number that is less than zero. Um, so uh, we're telling JavaScript that A should come before B. So in this case, if we wanted to sort in ascending order, that would be correct because A is less than B. Uh, if A was 30, then this would be 30 minus 20. And then that would return 10. And that's also what we want because now A is greater than B this returns a number that is greater than zero. So we're saying that B needs to come before A. So we're saying 20 needs to come before 30. And if A was 30 and B was 30, that would be 30 minus 30 equals zero. And that returns zero. And it's just saying that these values are equal and that the sort order doesn't matter. Um, so to sort this in ascending order, we could just do a return a minus B and then if I pass this compare function into the sort method then now you can see down here that our array is sorted the way that we uh, think it should be uh, 1 2 3 4 10 20 30 40 and now the great thing about these compare functions is that you can customize them any way you want if you want this to be uh, sorted by descending order then we can just do B minus A and now it's sorted by descending order, 40, 30, 20, 10, 4, 3, 2, 1. So that's a brief look at sorting numbers. Uh, now let's take a look at sorting uh, some strings here. Um, so let me take away that compare function. Um, so we are just using the default sort method to sort these strings. Uh, so I have uh, Jack, Jill, Corey, Pete, and Ann, and you can see that the um, using sort by default, uh, it kind of looks like it works here, but then if we take a look at the end, it didn't actually do exactly what we wanted because and is lowercase. And like I said before, this sorts by the Unicode values, and in Unicode, uh, these uppercase characters are larger than the lowercase characters. So if we wanted this to be case insensitive, then we have to write our own compare function for that. Um, so let's go ahead and write a quick compare function and see how we would do this. So I'm going to I'm going to call this one sort alpha, and 
I'm also going to pass in a, b. Uh, usually for compare functions, uh, those will be the parameters, something like that, a, b. Um, so what we can do here is now we want to uh, sort these by the lowercase version of these strings. Uh, we want it to be case insensitive. Um, so what we can do is we can make a variable inside our function and just call it a lower equals a dot to lowercase. And then we can another, make another variable called b lower equals b dot to lowercase. And then we can just uh, compare these strings. Um, so we can say if uh, a lower is less than b lower, then we can return negative 1. Because remember, if we want uh, a to be before b, then it needs to be a number that is less than 0. So we're going to return negative 1 for that. Um, so let me go ahead and copy this and paste it in. If a lower is greater than b lower, then we want to return positive 1. And if it's neither of those, which in this case it would mean that it's equal, then we would just return 0. Okay. And now let's go ahead and pass this compare function into our sort method. And whenever we save that and look at the sorted values now, now then you can see that this sorts the way uh, that we want it to be sorted. It's uh, case insensitive. So we have Ann, Corey, Jack, Jill, and Pete. Okay, so that was a quick look at sorting uh, some strings. Uh, now let's take a look at sorting some objects. Um, so I have a sample object here. So let me uncomment this. And let me go ahead and uncomment out the code that will um, display this to the HTML. Um, okay, so what this object is, is it's an object of names. And each object has a first property and a last property for first name and last name. Um, so now let's uh, say that we want to sort this first by first name and then by last name. Uh, so um, if we look at the comments here, you can see my original array, uh, the way that it's displaying now, is Joe Smith, Ann Smith, Tom Doe, and Ann Doe. And then uh, in this comment here, uh, we have the desired sorting would be Ann Doe, Ann Smith, Joe Smith, and Tom Doe. So we're sorting on the first name first, and if the first names are the same, then we want to sort on the last name. So Ann Doe would come before Ann Smith. So we know we're going to need a custom compare function to do this. So let's write one called sort names, and we're just going to use the same A and B parameters. And then let's go ahead and try to reuse some of the code that we used before. So let's take uh, this sort alpha function that we wrote earlier and let's paste that into our sort names. Um, so then let's take this function and let's go ahead and try to sort this and see what happens. So whenever I save that uh, it's not displaying anything so there's most likely an error in here. Now What's going on is that we need to realize that now we're trying to sort objects. Um, now we're trying to sort objects instead of just the strings themselves. Uh, so whenever we say a dot lowercase here, it doesn't know uh, what it is that we're trying to access. Um, so these are the same objects that it is that we're trying to sort. So they have the same properties. So a lower instead of a dot lowercase really needs to be that a object and then the first property and then two lowercase and then b dot first dot two lowercase and if I save that then you can see here um, that it is now sorted on the first name so now we have Ann Smith, Ando, Joe Smith and Tom Doe but you can see here it's sorted on the first name and the last names are still out of order. So we have Ann Smith and we have Ann Doe. So how can we do this to where it sorts on the first name first? And if those are equal, then it'll sort on the last name. Um, so all we have to do here is 
uh, we're going to be sorting on multiple parameters. So let's put in uh, an if statement here and just say if now these are the first names here I should probably rename these but I'm just gonna leave them the way that they are um, so if these first names are equal then now we want to sort on the last name um, so now we can take the same logic that we use for the first names copy that and we can paste it up here into this if statement and now we want to sort on the last name so let's go ahead and to lowercase those also so let's paste those in and instead of a lower I'm going to call this a last and instead of b lower I'm going to call this b last and now instead of the first names we want to grab the last property and let's copy that so now remember a lower and b lower are the first names when those are equal then we want to come in here and sort both of these based on the last name. So if the last name, if the A last name is less than the B last name, return negative one. And if it is greater than the B last name, return one. And if it's the same, just return zero. So let's go ahead and save that. And then you can look down here and see that our array of names is sorted exactly how we want it to be sorted. So it's sorted by first name and then it's sorted by last name. Um, okay, so that is a, a quick look at sort and a few different examples of that. Um, now let's go ahead and take a look at the filter method.